Good morning children. I hope you all are doing well. So in the last video we have started chapter number 10 that is volumes and nets. We have solved question number 1 to 5 from exercise first. Now in this video we are going to continue with question number 6. Let us start students in your textbook. Question number 6. Find the volume of an ice cube each of side 4 cm. So here one side of an ice cube is given to us that is side of the ice cube is equals to 4 cm. Okay fine. Then you have to calculate its volume. So we know the formula for calculating volume of cube which is side into side into side. So here I have written volume of ice cube equals to side into side into side. So according to the formula we are going to multiply 4 into 4 into 4. So students 4 fours are 16, 16 fours are 64. So 64 cubic centimeters is our answer. Clear students? Note it down then we will see question number 7. Question number 7 students. A pit 7 meter long, 5.8 meter wide and 4.2 meter deep is dug. Okay. Find the volume of the earth dug out. So students there is a pit whose length, breadth and depth is given to us. I told you na depth or height you are going to apply the same formula length into breadth into height. So here in place of height depth is given so same thing only. So let us find the volume of this pit. So students first step length of pit. Length of pit is given 5.8 meters. Okay. Then width of pit given here is 4.2 meters. Fine. Then Sorry. Length of pit is given 7 meters. Then its width is 5.8 meters and its depth is 4.2 meters. Okay students. Now again volume of pit is equals to length into breadth into height. So simply we are going to multiply 7 into 5.8 meter into 4.2 meters. Now you very well know how to do multiplication of decimal numbers also. So students you can calculate it and you, you can match the answer from the board. On multiplying the final answer that I will be getting will be 170.52 cubic meters. You have to multiply and match the answer from the board. Okay, You are getting the same calculation or not. So the volume of the pit is 170.52 cubic meters. Note it down then we will see the next question. So students question number 8 last question of exercise 1 a bath tub is 78 centimeters long 42 centimeters broad and 35 centimeter high how many liters of water it can hold so let us see students again you can see here the length breadth and height of bath tub is given you are going to uh, find out how many uh, how many liters it can hold that means you are going to find out the capacity the value the volume of the bath tub so as the bath tub is in the shape of Cuboid length, breadth and height are given. Na? So we are going to apply the formula for volume of cuboid. Let us write the step students. So length of bath tub is given 78 centimeters. Okay. Its breadth is given 42 centimeters and height is given 35 centimeters. Okay. Now let's write the formula length into breadth into height. So 78 centimeters into 42 centimeters into 35 centimeters okay now again you can calculate and match the answer from the board on multiplying the for the final volume you will get will be 1 lakh 660 cubic centimeters okay students so this was exercise 1 from volume and next chapter and uh, note it down then we'll start the next topic so students volume we have seen and now we are going to see about nets of solid figures what i told you about solid figures cube cuboid cone cylinder these all are solid figures having three dimensions isn't it so we will be fine we will be talking about their nets what do you mean by net students net is a two dimensional figure okay for any solid shape if it is a two dimensional figure means you are you can draw it on 
paper. So net means for any solid figure we can draw a shape on a paper. Okay, we can draw a uh, you can say it's a net only. Okay, we can draw its net on a paper and on joining that net we will get the solid figure. What I am talking about that I will show you practically soon. You can see this is a simple paper. Na? So I will cut this paper or I will draw such a sketch, such a net on the paper that on joining this paper I will get a cube. Let us see how soon is. So first I have to tear that paper, tear this paper. So let us see how. So on the board you can see a cube and its net. Its sketch which I have, draw, which I have drawn on the board. Now I will cut this paper according to this uh, picture only. Okay, let us see how. So simply I am going to tear it at a second. I will first tear and then I will show. Okay. You can also draw with me. This will be one activity for you. Means you can also cut paper according to this sketch only. And then together we can make the cube. See, I am trying to make it like this, okay? Thank you.